Welcome back to our continuing review of chapter 7. In this problem, we're going to be reviewing on how to split or how to put components back into their original vector. Okay, so this problem gives two ropes are pulling on a box. The first is pulling 50 newtons directly upward, and the, the other is pulling 100 newtons directly horizontal. What is the resultant force? Now, I want you to note, I forgot on here, instead of horizontal, I want you to say to the east. That way it gives you the actual direction. Okay, so first of all, let's draw a picture to try to get an idea of what we're dealing with here. We have a box, and we've got one force t pulling directly east with 100 newtons, and we have another force pulling directly upward with 50 newtons. <clears throat> okay, so what we have to do here is I want you to connect these vectors head to tail. In other words, the arrow of one will be connected to the tail of the other at this point right here. You can translate this vector without changing the value at all. You can move it anywhere so long as you do not change the, the uh, direction or the magnitude. So let's do that. Let's, let's draw a free body diagram representing these, drawn just like I said. So we're going to draw this vector like this. It's going to be 100 newtons. And drawing them head to tail will give us a vector like this, and it's going to be 50 newtons. Now the reason we draw it this way is because if you connect, if you draw a dotted line between the tail of one vector and the head of the other, that will give you your resultant vector. Our vector should look something like this. Okay, so how do we do this? First of all, to find the hypotenuse right here, which we'll call H, I want you to use Pythagorean's theorem. Pythagorean's theorem states that a squared might, or plus b squared is equal to c squared. In this case, our a, we'll call this side, our b is this side, and our c is this side. So let's input these values into this formula to find the magnitude of this vector. So we take 50 and square it, plus 100 squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So, on our calculator, actually what we'll, do, what we'll do first is we'll take the square root of both sides so we can do this all in one step on our calculator. So our hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 50 squared plus 100 squared. And on our calculator we'll do that. It's going to be the square root of 50 squared plus 100 squared. Okay, that gives us the magnitude of our vector. So the hypotenuse is equal to 111.80 newtons. Now, <clears throat> since this is a vector, it also has to have a direction. We have our magnitude, now we also have to have our direction. Now, in our cases, I want you to always consider the angle, the angle from the horizontal, this angle right here, which is given to you in the problem. Or, I'm sorry, it's not given to you in the problem. We need to find theta as well. To find theta, it's fairly simple. On your calculator, all you have to do is type inverse tangent of the opposite. Okay, first of all, I want to circle this. This was our last answer. Let's, this will keep it straight. Okay, we have to take the inverse tangent of the opposite, so the angle opposite, which is directly across from the angle, the opposite over the adjacent. The adjacent side is the side connected to the angle that is not the hypotenuse. So inverse tangent of 50 over 100. So on our calculator, we'll type inverse tangent of 50 over 100. And that will give us a value of 26.565 degrees. Okay, so this is the two components of our answer. And how I want you to write them is just like this. 111.80 newtons at an angle of 26.565 degrees. And that concludes this problem.